Hi, I'm Michael Burton with MichaelBurtonFilms.org, located in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we're here talking about how to use Microsoft Windows. Now what I want to talk to you about is using shortcuts on your desktop to gain quick access to your files. Let me start off by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft, and I am in no way affiliated with Microsoft. This is a very simple uh, technique to use, and it helps a lot. Uh, for example, you can see on my desktop up here on the upper left that we already have a few uh, shortcuts. One, I've got my Internet Explorer shortcut that uh, allows me to not have to go into my Start menu or to look go into my Programs menu and pull up Internet Explorer. I can just uh, double-click right on Internet Explorer from my desktop, and it brings up my Internet Explorer. Uh, that's one example. Let's close that down. Another example are my Shared Folders icons, which uh, aren't really up and running right now, but that's for my network at, at home. And... Uh, and when I double click on that, it, it's a shortcut to my shared folders. Um, now, if we want to create a shortcut, we can create a shortcut for any program or any file, folder, anything that we wish. Um, uh, you know, for example, let's, let, let, let's take this test document here in Word that we have. Now, if we want to create a shortcut to this, because I'm going to store this in my documents. So let's go ahead and open my documents as well. Okay, so here I have my documents. Now I'm going to go ahead and I want to create a shortcut for this test documents because I'm going to store test documents into the My Documents folder. But I, want, I don't want to have to open up the My Documents folder in order to open my test documents. So what we're going to do is right click on the, on the test document icon. And down here at the bottom, if you scroll down, it gives you the option to create shortcut. Let's create a shortcut. Now as you see over here on the left, it has now posted a shortcut to test document. Now, you don't have to delete, you can rename this shortcut to test document anything you want, but you can tell that it's a shortcut because of the little arrow icon. Okay, these ones do not have arrow icons because they are programs. This, well, and that doesn't necessarily mean anything either because some of the programs I have, like to my editing software, uh, uh, contain arrows when, they're cre when we create a shortcut, which I'll show you in just a sec. But uh, the Test document now has a shortcut, so I can go ahead and put my test document in my My Documents folder, and I can close that down. Now, if I want to open my test document, all I have to do is click on this shortcut, and it automatically brings up my test document, and I don't have to go into the My Documents folder and waste that time. It's just a quicker way to do things. You can have your entire desktop full of these icons. I have found that uh, the more that I have on the desktop, and you can delete them, again, by just you know right-clicking, clicking Delete. Um, I have found that the more that I have on my desktop, the more uh, shortcuts I have and the more th items, icons that I have on my desktop, the slower my computer runs. So I try to keep my desktop pretty clean, uh, cleaned up and not have a lot of, especially big files such as video files, things like that, and music stored on my desktop. Um, but anyway, that's how you create a shortcut. They come in very handy. If you want to create a shortcut for a program, go to your start menu. First of all, uh, go into your, your programs. And let's say we want to create one for uh, Network Magic. This is my network software. So I'm going to right click on the icon and then click Create Shortcut. Now it'll create a shortcut right here in my folder. Then what I can do is take this and drag it to my desktop. Now you see the little arrow again on the, on the icon? That means that's a shortcut directly to my Network Magic. So now all I have to do is double click on this and it'll open up my network at home.